night on the yeah. first night of the NFL draft on Thursday for Lake City native Laramie Tunsil. He was one of the top pers uh, prospects for his this year's class, and he was expected to really take one of the top five picks until yeah. a video of him smoking out of a bong and a gas mask was posted on his Twitter account about 10 minutes before the draft began. General Ford's Chris Barrento spoke to a former sports agent about how much of an impact social media can really have on athletes. Chris? Bakari Tunsil claimed that his social media accounts were hacked, and that's how these posts came about. But it still didn't stop him from sliding in the NFL draft. And afterwards, his saga took another strange twist yesterday afternoon when he was supposed to have an introductory press conference with his new team, the Miami Dolphins. As that press conference was getting started, team officials said that Tunsil had an allergic reaction and wouldn't be at that press conference. He claimed on Thursday night that the bong video was taken years ago and he called it a mistake. Less than two hours later, someone posted text conversations between he and a former coach asking for money. Right after being drafted, Tunsil initially denied that he had taken money, but when he was asked again, he said that the text messages did happen and that he did accept that money. Local attorney and former sports agent John Phillips says this is just another reason why people should be careful on social media. The bigger lesson is be smart. You know, social media, whether it's whether it's you or I or somebody that's on the verge of being a multimillionaire, it follows you and it sticks around and you know people can hack your account. Philip says there is a possibility that Tunsil could file lawsuits both civilly and criminally to against the person who hacked into his accounts. But Phillips also points out that there's a possibility that Tunsil and his representatives may choose to just move forward from this and get going with his NFL career. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.